Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Twisted Pair Network Media. Today we're going to be talking about Twisted Pair Network Cables, and then we're going to be talking about some categories and characteristics of Twisted Pair. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So let me begin by introducing you to Twisted Pair Network Cables. So most people are familiar with twisted pair cables. Why? Because they are the standard in the local area network. They are the Ethernet cables. Twisted pair network cables are constructed from four pairs of wiring contained within an insulating sheath. Each pair of wire is twisted together with a slightly different twist rate. This twist in the pairs reduces the opportunity for electromagnetic interference from outside sources or from other pairs of wires. Now this interference that can be caused by adjacent pairs is called crosstalk. Each pair of wires is color coded with the common coloring scheme being white orange orange, white blue blue, white green green, and white brown brown. Now these twisted pair cables can be either shielded or unshielded. That's STP or UTP. Now shielded twisted pair has an additional shield that is either wrapped around each pair of wires or around all four pair. STP reduces the opportunity for EMI or crosstalk, but it is a little bit more expensive and a little harder to work with. The shielding reduces the flexibility in the cable. Now, UTP, unshielded twisted pair, is deployed in the network much more often than STP is. Now, UTP and STP can come in plenum grade or non plenum grade twisted pair. Building codes often call for plenum cable, plenum grade cable, to be run in the plenum space. Now the plenum space is an area that is designed to assist in the airflow of a building for HVAC purposes. In a plenum cable, the outer jacket is either made from a fire retardant cover or a low smoke PVC material. This outer cover makes these cables a little less flexible and more expensive. Quite often plenum cables have a polymer or nylon strand woven into them. This helps to take some of the hanging weight of cables. This reduces the chance for cables to stretch, which can cause the pairs of wires inside to break. Now let's move on to some characteristics and categories of twisted pair. A twisted pair network cable is designated as either being a straight through or a crossover cable. A straight through cable is a cable in which the wiring scheme is the same on both ends. That wiring scheme is called the pinout. They are used to connect dissimilar types of devices, like a PC to a switch or a switch to a router. The crossover cable, on the other hand, uses a different pinout on the cable ends. They are crossed over from end to end. The crossover cables are used to connect similar types of devices, like when you need to connect a PC directly to another PC or a switch to a switch. Although now it is common for the network ports to be able to auto sense what they connect to and they can make the switch internally. Now twisted pair can have different types of conductor construction. They can have a solid conductor. That's where the core of each wire is made from a solid copper conductor. These are strong and sturdy and they work really well for pulling twisted pair through walls. But there are two things with solid conductor cables. They have reduced flexibility and they tend to be more expensive. The other type of construction is stranded conductor. The core of each wire is made from small thin strands of copper that are twisted together. They're not as strong or as sturdy as solid core wire, but they're much more flexible than solid core and they work really well for patch cables. Now let's move on to categories of twisted pair network media. Twisted pair network cables are broken out into categories based on their maximum rated ability to handle network traffic. Most of the bandwidth gains in the categories are due to the changes in the twist rate in the pair. More twists in a pair of wires reduces EMI and crosstalk, allowing for more speed across that pair. 
there are currently five different categories of twisted pair network cables that are readily available. There's CAT3, CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, and CAT6A. Unless otherwise specified, the maximum distance a twisted pair cable segment can span is 100 meters. Now let's move on to those categories of cables in a little bit more in depth. And we begin with CAT3. Now this is rated for up to 10 megabits per second in speed. That's 10 base T networking. It's not really used in the LAN anymore in the local area network, but it is still used for telephony, for running telephone lines. CAT3 was replaced by CAT5, which is rated for up to 100 megabits per second in speed. That's 100 base T networking. CAT5 couldn't keep up with modern networking, so along came CAT5E. It's rated for up to 1 gigabits per second. That's 1,000 base T networking. And of course, technology moves on, so we had to come up with CAT6. It's rated for up to 10 gigabits per second. That's awfully fast, by the way. That's 10 GBE or 10 gigabit Ethernet networking. Now, to achieve that 10 gigabits per second speed, your maximum cable length on a CAT6 cable could only be 55 meters. Well, they found that wasn't quite long enough, so they came up with CAT6A. Now, it has the same rating as CAT6, but your segment can be up to 100 meters long and still achieve those 10 gigabit Ethernet speeds. Now that concludes this session on Twisted Pair Network Media. We talked about Twisted Pair Network Cables, and then I went into some characteristics and categories of Twisted Pair. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm looking forward to doing another one.